Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, someone asked to see the dried results to the um, color art piece I did, and I am absolutely in love with this piece. It is going to Gail Burston. I'm very happy to have her have this in her home. I'm just going to um, just touch up a little bit of this here, but it's um, it's one of my favorites. This is color art. This is what it does with the shadow pour. All um, t pigments react differently. I do love this reaction. I'm going to be trying today the uh, eye candy. And I have mixed it up the same way I mix up my TLPs with the alcohol ink. And uh, this is a <laughs> this is a slightly used Dutch pour. Shocking, right? <laughs> So I, I um, have painted it, but um, it's a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. It's been around for a little while. I, um, I still struggle with the Dutch pour. So what I'm doing right now is I'm alternating between things I struggle with and things I'm comfortable with. So this is gonna be a comfortable one. Anyhow, this is gonna be another shadow pour with the, the eye candy pigments. And I, I'm not through with my series with the Fab Artists. And I just did Karen Durishan. And I'm going to be doing Sarah Mack next, I believe. Or, Ma, or uh, Mina, I'm not quite sure which one. Whatever suits my fancy that day. And I'm um, gonna attempt to do a wrecked rain pour. I never do wrecked rain pours, ever. For some reason, I feel it's like sacrilege or something to wreck <laughs> some beautiful thing. <laughs> but I, do, I there's one that she did that was called Baroque. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll link it in the description. And I have, um, let me see here. Oh, there's a, the Fab collaboration will be on Sunday. It's the After Fab 2. And I'm looking forward to that. And let me show you my colors. This is, oh, it's just, it's lusciousness in a cup. Now, and now it's on my canvas. <laughs> it's a little full. It's Aura Gold. Yes, this is the size of the eye candy pigments. Um, they, come, they come about this size and they also come this size. And they are, um, they're very economical. You don't need a whole lot of it. And these are, I think about 17. These are about 12. Uh, they vary in price and they go on sale sometimes too. And they have a program. As a matter of fact, I am an affiliate with Eye Candy. And if you would like to get 10% off, just use the code in the description. This is Okinawa Blue. Now, this was fine just on its own but um, I ended up adding just a smidge of the chartreuse in it to give it a little bit more greeny color. And it is gorgeous. I'll put in the description how I mix up these paints. There is no water and there's no Floetrol. And they're that thin, yes. Now I also have Chennai Brown, which I think I've added a little tiny bit of gold to it. Very beautiful color. I did a test tile on these and it turned out really pretty. So I'm looking for an airy kind of look. Uh, this is Okinawa Green. And to this, I added some Galactic, I don't know if it's Galactic, no. Oh, see, there's like little tiny lumps in here still. Dang it. This is what, what, one pigment line that you have to really, really, really stir. So I've noticed, okay, yeah, there we go. It's a lot better. I don't like little tiny granules in it. But sometimes it happens and you can correct that with um, gloss varnish. Um, I have this in here. They also come in these little packets. This is, Galactic Ghost Green, 
or no, this is Glimmer Ghost Green. This is what I put in here. And it has these tiny little sparkly particles in it and it's so awesome. So hopefully those will show up. So we are going to do the pearl mix first. Sometimes I put the colors down and then I put the pearl mix, but for this particular um, piece, I want to, I want it to be really airy. Okay, so it's a 16 by 16. This is 16 ounces and I haven't used it all. So I'm just going to roll this around. Got my hands off handles on. I want to cover the canvas. Lots of bubbles. And I'll put the recipe to the pearl mix in the description. I had so much fun with the ladies doing their pearl mixes. Everybody got a double check on their consistencies. <laughs> double, triple, quadruple check. Because <laughs> just when you think you have enough water in it, nope, you need more. As a matter of fact, this one might be a little bit on the thick side as well, but we can work with that. I'm going to be using a blow dryer in this to create that beautiful effect. matter too much because we're going to be blow, blowing it. I love to inspire others. So please try this. Try this at home. I'd love to see what you guys are doing out on those Facebook pages. And yeah. All right. So we're going to lay the colors down. some negative whoa Wilbur so much for my negative space <laughs> oh my god the queen of too much paint and then there's lots and lots and lots of this gold so I do want it over the blue quite a bit I'm gonna be putting more paint on top of this as well. So let's just move this around just a little bit. See where we're at. Okay. Oh, there goes my, <laughs> there goes my pump on my, my pool. I am, I actually painting during the day. This is so odd for me. It's not, it's totally unusual. So I do want to get out in the pool today. So um, that's why I'm doing this. All right, so I have my reserve. Oh, look at, see how it's reacting? Oh, I love that. I love paint reactions. I just love this process. I'm gonna give this a quick stir. I mixed my paints up last night early this morning as it goes. I'm going to just pour this right over it. Oh, look at that already. All right. So I'm going to go corner to corner. I 
over and back. All right guys, so since it's not dark out, I can't show you all the bling bling with the lights out, but uh, yeah, I'm loving this. Oh my goodness, I can't get enough of these. And look at there's glare, dang it. Let me see if I turn that off. Oh, well, less glare. Oh, and more detail and some bling. Kinda love it. Yeah, those, um, Eye candy. I mean, they're so vibrant. Um, 
I love the blending of these colors. And I don't know if this is like a wave right at the beach line or the sky. You guys can decide what you want to make it. But the pool is calling me. I have a new project going too. I was gonna buy a solar pool heater and I'm gonna make one. I found this um, big frame on the side of the road. So I'm gonna frame it in that. And that is like one of my favorite parts right there. So please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to purchase any of my artwork, it is available on my website. It's gratefulcreations.net. Or you can contact me at gcfluidart at gmail.com. And I do offer classes through FaceTime or Zoom. Um, I'm loving this piece. All right, ciao for now, guys. Hey, guys. So here's the dried results. And yeah, there's actually that, see that spot right there, the green? It is glowing. So yeah, I'm so glad I put that in. It's like there's little sparkles everywhere. Yeah. I'm really happy with this result. And I really, I think I captured the airiness. Whoops, I'm going this way. Oh, no, now I'm going this way. shadow in here sorry about that but yeah very happy with this piece well yeah it's a little breezy out today so anyhow just wanted to give you the dried result very unusual for me right I get so excited about my videos I just want to post them right away all right I'll see you guys later